Hello everyone, welcome to a foreigner farming in the Philippines. Right, we're down here with Roger and Gina, and we're showing them around the piggery. I have a grand grandkids now. You have a grandkids now, <laughs> yes you do. Uh, Mars was Maricel named Mars after herself. Uh, yeah. It's the ultimate in vanity. She is my baby. Yeah, Mars is and a sweet baby. They are my grandkids. And it turns out Mars is a pretty good mom too. Had a few little scares yesterday. Yeah, um, because she is a very good but baby. She, she's, uh, she's a good mom. All her piglets are doing well. Doing okay. Uh, she's got 11 that survived. She had 14, but three were born stillborn. So the 11 that are still here are pretty good looking little pigs. But aren't anything. Fresh baby. Oh, wow. <laughs> baby. Baby. What you thinking, Mars, huh? Yeah. Mars is, uh, in, pigs are intelligent in general. Mars in particular is uh, a smart pig. She's figured out how to get out of her pen a few times and gone up to the feed room and uh, helped herself. Uh, she knows how to manipulate this water and play with it so that she can basically give herself a shower. Uh, she'll lay she'll lay down i saw her doing it yesterday it was the first time i'd seen her doing it she'll lay down here with her head you yeah. know there and lay straight out oh and she'll work that just enough to where it'll spray down her whole body and she'll she'll lay there and play play with that and give herself a shower so mars is an extra special pig <laughs> We put these, I don't know if you've seen the videos, but we put these rails around the side mm -hmm. uh, so that if she lays down, uh, the little piglets, she can't, pigs generally prefer to lay down next to a wall, a little more security, comfort, whatever it is, they just like to lay down next to a wall. And she weighs over 400 pounds, those little piglets weigh about a pound. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine what happens yeah. when she lays on it, right? <laughs> so you put these rails around it, like this, and when she lays down, they, they have a place where they can yeah, be they can to where she can't lay on them. Mm -hmm. they're safe, right? mm -hmm. And they're actually laying on the edges, too. Right, because yeah. they're just like, they're a pig and they're like any other pig, they, lay, they like to lay down next to the wall. Mm -hmm. So it kind of keeps them out of the way because that's kind of where they take their naps. And when she does lay down and rings the dinner bell, um, they're out of the way. Now, how old are these piglets? Uh, they were born yesterday. 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 <laughs> Only yesterday. <laughs> there she yeah, there she goes, playing in the water. Mars is a water baby. But as you can see, when it's when they don't play in their water too much and there's no leaking water and, it, and it's not sopping wet but the pigs are actually pretty clean the rice holes don't the, yeah. they just stick but they'll fall off when yeah. they, they will saturate if they if there's a leaking water or or they play in it too much they will get saturated but by and large if there's no problems they'll stay just about like this a bit damp which is nice for them because it helps them keep cool it's cool but it's not just sopping it's sloppy not dirt wet either. It's, it's rice holes. Right, it's not dirt. Down, so it's not dirt. So yeah, it's clean. So we're just in the process of getting this kind of the way that we want it. It's been a journey because, uh, frankly, I mean, the, the whole design of this was wrong from the beginning. Oh. And I you know I've explained that on the videos before. Uh, it should have a central walkway. Uh, the roof's not right, it's too high. Uh, the pins were all, these were all cemented pins mm -hmm. at first. So you had to change. Right. And when Marcel and I were doing this all by ourselves, it was taking us three or four hours a day with a pressure washer to clean out all the pins. It was labor intensive. Uh, after about six weeks, it overwhelmed our septic tank and we had a giant, we had a 10 by 10 by 10 foot septic tank. <laughs> what are you doing? Have you got an attitude? She don't know you. What is it with you, huh? What is it? What is up with you? Huh? What are you barking at people for, huh? What's going on with you, huh? What are you upset about, huh? This is my pen, and I do not know him. 
What's up with you, huh? Are you just in a bad mood today? Yeah, so anyway, we're, it's never going to have the central walkway like it should have been designed with. But at least we've got the pins changed around now to, where the, to the way that we want them, except for those first two. And uh, we're pleased with it. Yes, it's very nice. Now we're, now we're on the phase of going back through, ch double checking, we're changing out the rice hulls. We change out every four months, three times a year. So those pins up there where we had some water leaks and some problems, uh, we're changing all those out, making sure they're the right depth. So somehow most of them are only like two feet deep instead of three. So we're getting them dug down to the proper depth and getting it the way we want to. And hopefully we can see some light at the end of this tunnel and we're not spending so much on refitting them, labor, uh, materials. And we can set this whole thing on cruise control and get it going. But you're on, you're in production mode now. We are in production so. mode and it's not, it's not a drain anymore. We're, we actually are making a little money. Uh, but nothing like it could be if we could just get all this messing around finished. And just reducing your labor costs, right. reducing your hours. Uh, and labor's really cheap here. I mean, right. to face it, it's really cheap, but it's not free. It's time. And it's, the materials cost money, the labor does cost money. Even if you're paying seven, eight, nine dollars a day, that adds up. And it's time. And it's time. It's time. Gina and Tata only have so many hours in a day. Right, and we only have so many hours in a day. And I get nagged when I'm, when I'm working with the shovel too much. I mean, I've got to change, according to the boss lady, I've got to change my clothes three times a day because I'll get sick if I'm too wet. And, you know, I, I sweat when I'm working. And so my clothes will be totally saturated in like an hour. And then the boss lady will come down, now nah, you've got to change, get out of those wet clothes, blah, blah, blah. And so I'm changing clothes three times a day. You know, at first I didn't want to do it because I, I didn't want Marcel to have to wash my clothes all the time. But she didn't, she don't care. She just like insists. I know, I go through the same thing. Yeah, so I, you know, working is not, the working doesn't bother me that much. It's having to change my clothes three damn times a day that drives me nuts. Yeah. <laughs> it just bugs me. I know. But I try to keep the little woman happy because uh, not keeping her happy is, is not a fun option. No, no, that's not a good option at all. <clears throat> What's going on down here, ladies, huh? Now see, this is an example of a pin that is a bit overwhelmed, and you can see why yeah. that, that water is leaking. What is up with you? You're, you, are you? Are you in a bad mood because your pin's too wet? I don't think that's what it is. I think you're just mad. They could be having a little bit of an attitude because two days ago we started cutting our ration back a little bit. Because some of these pigs, quite frankly, were just getting too fat. And our feed bill is a lot. So you just uh, have to play with that and just and and, and it's out and we've played with it three or four times to try to get the optimal level. But some of these sows, you'll notice their back fat's a little thick. They just look a little heavy, a little jowly. Um, everyone is different, and it's hard when you're you're coming along to feed these. You've got 50 pigs to feed, and they're all barking about it. They're they're raising cane because they're hungry right now. And so, and we don't have sow boards. Uh, Uno was supposed to bring a sow board. It'd be real easy if you could just glance up at that and see 600 grams right. or see 400 grams, whatever that particular sow is supposed to have. I didn't know if you had those some other place or something. I, I've, I've used them in the past, and they're and they're simple to use. It really makes life simple and easy. They're easy to use. It's just getting it actually. It's just getting up. Uno to get off it and, and actually get them. It's the Philippines. Nothing is done today. Right. Um, but when we get those, the feeding will be easier. Um, right now, I've basically, what I told Tata and Jen, is that if they look fat, we're going to cut their ration in half for a while and see what happens. So the, these, some of these pigs could be having a little bit of an attitude because they're, they're getting half, they're getting half the... They're getting half the food they're used to, so yeah, I can understand they'd be a little upset. This girl here, just let I me mean, look at her. She's a big one. She's getting ready to have piglets pretty quick. So is this one. And that's how many days gestation period? That's a hundred. It's three months, three weeks, and three days. And what is it? 100 and 
uh, 12 or 114 days, I can't remember. I always just remember the three months, three weeks, three days, and 3 a.m. You remember those four threes. And it's another thing, pigs are individuals, just like we are. Oh, yeah. And some of them, maybe that sow over there, she kind of felt you were sneaking up on her or something, didn't know her, and so she kind of uh, gave you a little bit of attitude. But by and large, these are really gentle animals, intelligent and gentle animals. And that's, I love pigs. I really like interacting with them. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm new actually around the big cows, so when I did put my hand in there, I wasn't totally covered. Well, so something you have picks up on that that I'm a little nervous. So. Some that you have, something you have to keep in mind is that the bite force of one of these pigs is about six times what a, a pit bull is. Wow. So if they get your hand or your ankle or your foot it's in good. their mouth. They could, if they really wanted to, they could just bite it off like a shark. But usually they won't. But the wound they leave is like a tearing wound. You'll wish that they had, they had yeah. bit it off. Um, but they would have to be really enraged or a real problem for them to ever be aggressive with you like that. By and large, they're just big, happy-go-lucky animals. fast. This sow uh, here is like perfect. Right? She's not too thin. She's not too fat. She's just about right. We took her piglets away from her about two weeks ago. So she's pretty much, that. that's that's the way you want them to look right there. Oh, yes. And she's a good looking pig. She's put together well. She had beautiful piglets. And she's just right. Not too thin, not too fat. And there's a couple up here I can show you. Well, like this gal right here. Now she's mostly Duroc, it's a slightly different breed, but she's too fat, and you can see it in her face. Okay. Just a little jolly around right. the bottom of her chin down there. She's a, she could lose 20, 30 kilos and it wouldn't bother her a bit. Okay. And she won't stand up for us, of course, so that you can see, but she's a little tubby. Okay. This one here is about right. Uh, this one's a little bit on the heavy side. Of course, she's getting ready to have piglets pretty soon, so it's kind of hit or miss. Right. Yeah, and you can see in her mouth there, well, I don't know if you saw when she was yawning, but there are teeth in there. Oh, I know. And they, I've seen, you know what black walnuts are? You know what black walnuts are, right? There's English walnuts, which you can crack with your hand with two of them. You can just crack them in your hand. Black walnuts, it takes a hammer, right? I've seen I've seen pigs eat black walnuts like they're peanuts. They just crunch them up like like they're peanuts. So yeah, they can really bite you if they want to. And I've been bitten once, well twice, once seriously by a pig, and it's not something you want to experience. Well, I've seen small ones, you know, small piglets, and I've had top belly pigs. So uh, I just magnify that by a hundred. See this pig here, this sow here, she's too fat. And you can tell by her face. She, she is a she is a good looking pig, but she's just a bit fat. And and she hasn't been bred. She's never taken a breeding and she's almost a year old. We were almost gonna call her. But she is such a good looking pig for her breed. She's such a good looking pig. I mean she's like show quality. So I wanted to keep her and try uh, I'll even try to AI her. I'll get somebody out here to inseminate her if the boar, if she just won't take with the boar. And if she, if she won't breed, then, you know, of course she'll have to go down the road. But I wanted to give her every chance in the world to get some piglets out of here because I would like breeding her with our neighbor's boar because he's got a top, top notch boar. Man, the piglets would be something to see. So I just want to do everything we can to get her bred up, huh? Yeah, and you're a good pig, too. Yes, you are. You're a good pig, yeah. Here's a, here's an example of an... Uh, a lot of this has been kicked in from the other side. This is a pen that we're redoing. Uh, again, you can see the leaking water there. Yeah. That was the impetus. We were having a lot of problems, I think, too, getting the knot the nipples or the nozzles. I have a hard time getting good ones um, that last. Uh, the threads here, it seems like everything that comes into this country is second rate from China. The threads are, 
they're just not machined well. Even though it's threaded, uh, if that, and that's got a lot of uh, uh, that, uh, uh, tape. Uh, yeah, whatever, whatever it is, I'm Teflon tape. Yeah, and it's got a lot of it on it, and it still leaks. And if it didn't have on, if it didn't have any of that on it, you could wiggle it with your hand. After after you think you've got it tight, the threads are just that far off. Now see, this is an example here. Uh, Tatai came in. We dug the dug around the edges and cemented these here okay. around the, the undermining. We cemented it. Now see, this was one large pin, like the like those pins with the rails around them. This was one large pin. Okay. This section and this one was the pin, right? So when we put the partition in to make it into a double pin, uh, the floor went all the way to the bottom, okay. right? Sure. But. But this pin and this pin are another pin, so this was an out. This was the outside wall, so it only went down to the bottom of the. It went to the soil, okay, right. Which at that time was the the bottom of the wall, so that was a that was a aftermarket deal. We put the blocks all the way down. This was part of the original that we didn't dig down. We didn't we didn't put a footing or a foundation in it. So when we when we changed it over and put the rhizoles in it, pigs being pigs, and they like to root because that's how they feed themselves naturally. So they just rooted out and they just, uh, well, necessitated all this reworking. Another one here, we did the same thing. And another here. And we'll, we're eventually going to walk, go all the way up. Well, all these are in the next six months are going to the rice holes are going to be changed out. But the leaking problems going up that way, and you can see there's a little bit of an order here. Uh, most of that's coming from the pin over here, but you can see these pins are a bit saturated. <coughs> we had a leaking uh, roof leaking problem, so these pins got wet and they haven't dried out. So the extra moisture makes just a little bit of a smell. Uh, but all, all these pins are going to be reworked and done, and we'll, we'll have it the way we want it within 10 days. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Because we've actually got some guys that will show up and work. These are the fattening pins over here. Watch your step. There's a little odor. There's a little odor here because the it, well in this in this one. It was overcrowded for a long time. This was the first pin, and then we just built this one over here. Um, it's a little odiferous right now because uh, Jen hasn't gotten the, the poop out yet today. Oh, I see. And pigs are a lot cleaner than what people think. People think pigs are dirty because they like to wallow in mud all the time. They're, they don't sweat, so they're just trying to keep cool. Right, okay. But when they're in a pen like this, they will designate an area to go poop in. And in these pens, it's all down there at the end down there. And the same thing over here. They, they, they will try to keep themselves as clean as they can. Um, but they're pigs, so they've got to keep cool, so it doesn't bother them a bit to wallow. To wallow. And they are rooting, aren't they? they? And they love, yeah. That, well, that's just naturally how they feed. They're omnivores, uh, like we are. They'll eat meat or uh, plant matter. So when they're rooting around, like that little pig is there, a wild pig, uh, they're rooting around for roots because uh, they're tender. Uh, and grubs, okay. worms, uh, uh, mealworms, grubs, and they'll eat those as well. Any mouse that they find in the wild, it's dinner. Now, do they actually find anything in here? Or no, they don't find playing, anything here, but it, it's just instinct. It's just, you know, and, uh, it's instinct. They're just digging around in there for something to do. In fact, I should bring these guys another couple coconuts and give them a couple toys. See, he's going pee. To play with and, he's going to pee down there on that end. Yeah, that was a, that was, that right over there was a coconut. That was a big, had the husk oh, on it and everything. Uh, they, yeah. It, I'll put one in there. I'll find one and put it in there. It'll, it'll look like a, it'll look like a rugby, rugby team. Playing, uh, playing rugby in there. Yeah, let me see. Let me go, let me go find a coconut. I'll toss it in there. 
and they they need something to do anyway as I keep saying over and over pigs are really intelligent and so they get bored they're just like yeah and they're in it you know let's face it they're in a cage so you don't have to follow me I'm just gonna go over here and get this coconut And we got one right here. Twinkie, look at you. Now you're going to get in trouble. You're not going to be allowed on the bed now. See? Twinkie is inside what? She's inside the pen? How did she get in there? And see the rugby, the rugby match is on. And it's just something to break up their day, something for them to do. That's fantastic. Now having put one in there, I should probably put four or five so that they can all have a coconut to play with by, you know, so five or six like of them. Uh, feeding our chickens, you gotta spread it out. Or Where's Twinkie? Uh... Oh, she's in the chicken pen, okay. I thought you meant she was in the, she was in the... How did she get in there? Is there a hole in the fence again? She followed you? No, I'm at the door. Oh, in the door there's a hole. Okay. So they're actually biting on that. You're trying to move around and... Well, I'm going to end this long-winded video up. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.